Hello, hello, my beautiful booze. We got a video today. Today is another Christmas video for you guys. I'm super, 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 super excited. I'm gonna be using the Nail Junkies acrylic today. I'm gonna be using Cover Pink. And then I'm gonna use Crystal Clear. I'm gonna use um, Cancer. And I'm actually gonna use Eden in this one. I think I want to use Eden. Yes, I was going to use Virgo, but I really think I want to use Egan, e Eden, <laughs> if I can talk that way. And I might use a few little other things, not quite sure yet, but let's get down to business. I, I, well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to be using um, this jumbo glitter from She Modern. It's this really pretty, um, just hexagon with silver and green in it. And then I'm also going to use, um, let me see if I can find it here. Oh, what should I do with it? These little green ones that I also got from um, AliExpress. I'm going to be mixing that together and possibly using the emerald green in the She Modern as well. And I might end up using the uh, brown pigment from She Modern, white cream and the white cream brown black and uh, maybe use the green pigment as well we'll just see like I said I'm just gonna I don't really know what I want to do with it I do have these little flakes here too as well so I thought those would be really pretty on top of it so anyways let's get started all right guys are you ready I went ahead and I cleaned my brush. It's well to go. Um, I always like to clean my brushes in acetone first before I start because that makes sure it gets all the acrylic out of them. And I'm just dipping it inside of Marmara right now. I'm pushing the brush down to make sure I get all the bubbles out. But anyways, guys, let me know how you guys are doing. I hope you guys, like I said, are having um, a blessed day. And like I said, you know, if you guys need prayer or anything like that, just put it down below and I'll say a silent prayer for each one of you guys. Um, you guys are like my family. You're my YouTube family, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So, anyways, like I said, I know I've got a giveaway going on. I'm going to link it up above for you guys so that you all can enter. Just make sure that you follow all the rules, and you have to share the video. Um, <clears throat> but, um... I hope I can bring some joy and light to your life and you know like I said if you guys need help or if you just want someone to pray with you or just to even talk to you know you can always always talk to me I'll do the best I can to get back with you guys and just help you all um, but I would love if you guys would share my videos now you'll have to try to watch each and every one of these videos for Christmas because there's going to be several different giveaways for you guys so like I said it may not be in every video it may be every other video but they will not be drawn until Christmas time and um, because it's my present to you guys um, but uh, and I'm also doing this giveaway with Pumpkin Nail Station. So if you want to go check her video as well, she has different items than I do. So you know you can enter um, either one, but you know you have to be subscribed to me and her both. And you know whichever company that we're giving away that day, just go and check them out. Show them some love and support, and you know all that good stuff. Anyways. So I'm going to be using the Nail Junkies Acrylics. I'm going to start off using this Cover Pink. Um, and we're just going to start off with this small bead here. I'm going to do an extended nail bed. Um, now I haven't quite made my mind up what I wanted to do with this set. Like I said, I don't never really plan. I kind of have an idea in my head, but as far as like knowing what I'm doing, I, I just never plan anything. So you want to keep it a little thin on the thin side. Like I said, you know, when you're doing an extended nail bed, um, the less you have to file it, the better off you are. And sometimes when you're not used to doing extended nail beds, it is a little hard sometimes. So don't be hard on yourself. You know, when you're learning something new, um, it takes time, it takes practice. I 
and as long as you can keep moving it around like I said just take your time um, just be very patient now if you have a fast dry monomer you want to be quick um, if you like to be quick like that now I like to take my time and make sure that I actually get it perfect because I'm really OCD sometimes so the less filing you do the better off it is unless you're just you know like I said if you love to use a fast drying monomer then that's okay now there's a little bit of glitter in the bottom of this dish and it's fine it's not a big deal um, just give it a little bit more I don't know what you call it a little more bling bling <laughs> I don't know I know it's really hard on everyone right now you know with all this stuff going on with COVID and all that stuff I hate it for everybody but like I said I just I give my Jesus Christ I give it all to him like to let him protect and you know just keep everybody safe and but yes anywho this cover pink is one of my favorite colors I enjoy it a lot. I've used a lot of it too, believe me. Now, I have it in a one ounce jar and I have to say it has lasted me so long, which now it's getting to where it's about half full. So, now the thinner you have acrylic when it's really thin like this, it does take a little longer to dry, like I said, unless you're using a fast drying monomer or something like that, then it's going to dry really fast or if you have um, like if you put your brush in uh, acetone before you put it in it will make your monomer a fast dry monomer if you um, need it to be faster so it doesn't bother me either way um, I like either way you know what I'm saying but now I do I do like to say I do um, like to take my time but I just try to make sure that it's even as possible, you know. Now you do want to make the edge of it a little bit more um, higher than the rest of it, just because, like I said, it's a uh, because when you go to put the color up to it, it uh, it's going to help you when you go to put your color down, and then when you go to file. Uh, you don't necessarily file most of it off. I'm just going to keep wiping it until I can't wipe it anymore. Until it just kind of just dries in place. But like I said, you just take your time. Don't rush and don't be so hard on yourself. Because I'm going to tell you right now, when I first started doing um, extended nail beds, I was horrible. Absolutely horrible. was not great for me. And I just kept practicing and kept practicing until I finally learned how to do it. Now that looks pretty good. Not completely perfect, but it won't take much falling to fix it. Flatten it down just a little bit. And as you can see, like it's not that thick looks bigger on screen because that's what cameras do they make things look bigger and that was one thing that i actually had to realize because like when you're watching nails on on youtube and things like that it tends to make it look so much bigger so whenever you go to put it on you're thinking like why does my nails look so thick or why are they this or why are they that and it's just like when you realize that oh my god like the camera makes it look so much bigger then you think huh well that's my problem because i've been adding too much like it doesn't take much acrylic guys it really doesn't this is cancer love cancer it is my favorite black you can use my code melinda boo and that will save you 15 percent off your order she sells through uh paypal facebook um you message her and tell her what you want she has some pictures for you guys to check out um but um like, no joke, this is my favorite black. I use it all the time, believe me. Because, like I said, it's it's just so pigmented, you know. It's just, and it's so easy. And I love black. Black is absolutely one of my, f oh gosh. Make sure that you have that brush clean go. Because, like I said, you get that on your finger like that, you're going to have to take it back off. So, and sometimes black can be a little stubborn. 
and not want to come off. So I'm just going to pull this side down. I'm going to pull this side down because we don't want it misshapen. And I'm just going to start like doing this. And it's going to thin that down. Just like that, because I'm going to use them a little bit of everywhere, probably. I'm going to take a small bit of acrylic and I'm just going to put it at the top. So I'm going to leave that one to dry. Alright, so the next one that I'm going to do is Okay, so I have this holographic glitter here, and then I have the She Modern Jumbo Glitter. Really pretty, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys how do you know if acrylic is dry. Um, you can feel of it, and it still feels kind of bouncy a little bit, so listen for that. Now this is dry, but see the center of this one? Like right here is not completely dry yet, so you'll have to give it a few more minutes to dry. But you could just hit different areas and tell it's not far from drying. But now, like that's dry, 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 and those are dry. But where this one is a little thicker, there it goes, it's finally getting dry. But now, right here is not dry. Just gotta wait for it to dry really good and we will file that.
because I'm going to be using this here. This is the Precious Minerals from Inel Couture. It's Kata. And so I'm just going to give it a really good shake here. I'm put some on this little palette here. Okay, I'm gonna set this to the side and so. This is cream pigment from She Modern. And you want to use your favorite top coat, not base coat. Anything like that has to be top coat. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of pigment here. It doesn't take very much, literally. Actually, I'm going to use the end of my brush here.
These pigments <clears throat> are super, super nice, super pigmented. You can pick these up on SheModern.com. Um, there's a link down below that is always in my description box for you guys. And you will love it. Na, 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 na. So, let's see what else I got here. Ooh, let's, I'm going to do a little bit of white. Anywho, there's some white. Um, and I need black and I need red. So let me do these two colors first. Of course, I've got pigment all over me because I cannot be, I am the messiest person when it comes to pigments, guys, really. Because, you know, you can use pigments for a lot of things, but I am super messy when it comes to pigment. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, there's my two colors. Like I said, I'm just gonna do a couple at a time. And I'm literally just gonna take my top coat And I'm going to drop it right in that pigment. You want to do your darker colors last because um, I always start with light to dark when I'm doing um, polishes like this. And I'm literally just going to take the tiniest bit here. I'm going to add it right here, but I'm just going to start mi mixing it in that light. See what I mean? Like, the, I'm really messy when it comes to pigments all right and that looks pretty good and that's one thing I have to say that is why I like um, white and black because you can make it lighter you can make it darker you can mix colors together to make other colors these pigments are super super nice but like I said I'm very messy I get it everywhere um, I do more cleaning up after myself than I do anything else Okay, so I'm just going to put this over here underneath this little stone, and I'm going to start painting. Just make sure you get all the gel off your brush, because you don't want to get that on you. And I'm going to start off with the white here.
using a black water paint I'm just going to add water and on the yellow here I decided to use the opaque yellow lemon water paint and I just added water to it and I'm going to do the same thing with the black I'm actually going to put some water to it and just keep adding water till I get it where I want it kind of necessary to add water to water paints especially when they're opaque because they are thick when they're opaque so you have to add water to kind of loosen it up a little bit Alright, so now I'm using the Princess Nails by Diana No Wipe Top Coat. And I'm just going to start putting the... Um, what it looks like. I hope you can see the teddy bear really good. I know the light is like bouncing off of it. Let me see if I can change it real fast where it's not so Oh, there we go. Maybe that's a little better. Yeah, I think so. That's super nice. So cute. There you go. And like I said, don't forget to use my code Melinda Boo. Get 15% off your order. Um, go check out Sheen Modern and all their goodies. They have a little bit of everything. Pigments, watercolors, decals. Um, they've got like um, glitters, fabulous glitters, which I am going to show you in my next video. I'm going to be using um, a couple of things from Sheen Modern as well. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, I love you all. Like I said, you guys are my YouTube family and I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you're having a blessed day. And I'll see you guys soon. Make sure to like that video, subscribe, and share them as well. And good luck, guys. And the giveaway, don't forget to go check it out as well. It's up above. But make sure you're subscribed. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you get my latest uploads. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!